Root exudate. Root exudate. Yeah, let's get into that. Have you? Yeah, are you familiar with root exudates at all? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Um, so root exudates are compounds that are secreted by roots to facilitate several functions. Um, one that I've touched on before um, is that they they feed specific profiles of biology to accomplish specific goals. For example, they will secrete profiles of amino acids, enzymes, and carbohydrates that promote the um, multiplication of phosphorus cycling um, bacteria. This is called the rhizophagy cycle. And during particular stages in the plant's development, it has different profiles of root exudates and of these compounds I just mentioned to feed specific species of bacteria to make certain nutrients available during certain stages in the correct proportions that the plant wants them, right? This is like the, the, the overwhelming majority of how nutrients are cycled um, and delivered to a plant in a living soil system. Is through root egg states. And each plant is, each species of plant is more or less effective at certain, at feeding certain profiles or, um, yeah, profiles of these compounds to feed specific species of bacteria. So you'll see people introduce cover crops and companion plants, living mulches that have a diversity of different plant species that are more or less effective at secreting root exudates tailored to specific nutrients to make them available. So you'll see people use clover um, for nitrogen. Um, it fixes nitrogen from the atmosphere but it also solubilizes nitrogen in the rhizosphere. And then you have things like buckwheat, which is really effective at um, phosphorus solubilization. Um, it secretes phosphatase, or it could be phosphatase Anyway, and um, it's an enzyme that helps with nutrient cycling of phosphorus. This is crucial. This is like super key in bioremediation of soil, as well as making nutrients available to your plants. and Keep in mind that these profiles of biology, you know, while they are also, you know, I'm sorry, these profiles of compounds, while they're feeding biology, they're also catalyzing chemical reactions and covalent bonds in the soil to make nutrients, you know, transform from one form to another, right? So while living soil is like an ecosystem of bacteria and biology, um, it's also a perpetual chemical reaction. And so not only are we kind of working with nature, um, well, chemistry is still nature, but we are working with chemistry. We're working with bacteria biology, kind of forming an alliance with these, these living organisms, but we're also needing to understand how those aspects influence chemical reactions in the soil. And this is done a lot of the time through root exudates. Um, and we can introduce and kind of mimic root exudates with the different compounds that we play with. And that's like the the key, the like the secret key behind effectively growing living soil is is mimicking root exudates because this is how most nutrients change forms and become readily available. Um, there's also the the soil food web and how I mentioned earlier bacteria being consumed by protozoa, but the vast majority of how nutrients are uptaken is through the rhizophagy cycle and how root exudates interact with chemicals and with biology and those biology and that biology breaking down specific nutrients. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.